So, as they say, welcome to Germany. Just got onto the water. We've literally been like for two minutes on the water. We were, um, we've literally just bought our um, fishing licenses as well. We can do it online. One minute ago, the purchase went through and suck, hello police. The police came and wanted to give us a quick control. They actually didn't check our licenses. They just made sure that the, um, everything's correct with the boat. Hopefully that's the last time we see them today. They wished us luck to catch a fusander. That doesn't always happen when you meet the police. So they were pretty friendly. And now we're gonna go out there and hopefully, hopefully catch ourselves some Xander. We haven't done a proper intro yet, Dan. We'll switch the camera no. over that you're in there as well. Okay guys, yeah, so as Daniel said, we're here in Germany. Just got on the water, the police stopped us. But yeah, now it's time to fish. Mission is to catch some Xander. Dan doesn't get to do that much Xander fishing in, um, in the UK. He doesn't no. live in an area where there's that much Xander or any Xander to yeah. be fair. <laughs> something cool, something exciting. We're really close to Berlin. Um, and this is the time of year where even around Berlin, you've got the chance of catching some Xander. We're big gonna, Xander as well. Some big Xander as well. Dan's told us his personal best is a 75 centimeter. Uh, that yeah. is a good Xander, unfortunately. That is quite a good Xander, but it is beatable. We've got ourselves the best guide you can get. It's a friend of mine, looks after our boat and uh, works at the best boat company that I know in Germany. Mr. Paula. Hello. <laughs> um, we'll introduce him a bit more later. We'll see how the fishing goes. If it goes well, we'll tell you who he is. If it doesn't go so well, yeah. we'll keep it quieter. So what, what is the plan for the fishing then? Sharp shooting? That's the idea. Basically, That's so the idea. Find the Xander on the live scope drop a lure on the head and then catch him. Easy as that. Easy as that. Honestly, um, we know experts and <laughs> we're gonna try our best. The good thing is it's not so windy, so at least one can move the boat halfway. Yeah. But uh, we're just gonna have to hope those under feel like biting. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. One's under each and I'll be happy with that. That's it, we've got our head of marketing here as well. Misha, we're gonna have to swing the camera around. Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> So we fully loaded, we fully loaded, we're ready to go. We've got four people who want to catch at least one Xander. Yeah. So let's hope that they're biting. <laughs> yeah, let's see what happens. Put it down. One moment. And down. Stop, 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 stop. That was too much. You have to stop like one or two meters above it. Yeah. Now you it's pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. It's, it's uh, a little bit annoying when they come right to the yeah. bait and just. Yeah, I see him. No. So many fish. Yeah. It's always good to hear when it's a big one. Yeah. Then maybe I should try. <laughs> He's moving fast. Oh, you mean Johannes? This Pilag is why I often pass. And there's a big one here. 8, 9, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, So guys, it's been 30 minutes of fishing. Honestly, um, we've, let the, we've let the bait down to a lot of fish so far. At least 10, I'd say. And some of them have come, so, they, they swim up, they sniff the bait, and then they swim away. It's not so. easy to know what to do exactly. Like sometimes you don't know if you should keep still or if you should move quickly. <clears throat> So far, every decision Dan's taken has been the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I am a complete novice at this though, so but, I'm just listening to uh, the expert guide. But um, yeah, it can happen at any time. It's yeah. pretty exciting stuff. I mean, I know there's a lot of hate against scoping. Honestly, um, I'm also not a massive fan of it, but it is part of the new technology and it is cool to do every now and again. It's certainly not a kind yeah. of fishing I would always do. It's a cool experience and it's... A good to learn how the fish react to the baits as well. You like, can learn so much from, from looking yes, at the scope, what's going on. And to me, this feels really intense, this style of fishing as well. Like, actually watching them react to the bait live is, 
there's a lot of videos world, there's yeah. a lot of videos out there where it looks really really easy because yeah. obviously they like you know you can cut a video and take out all of the time that That's you're not what we'll catching be doing. <laughs> um <laughs> but uh, honestly it's not so easy so yeah we're just um moving on the motor wait until we see a nice size mark on the um live scope sort of like 70 centimeters plus mm -hmm. uh we've seen a few big catfish as well so there's a mark there is that look there's a nice one that's a zander. Yeah, down, please. Down. The top one or the bottom one? The top one. So we're just dropping the bait down to where we see the fish. Hoping they react, basically. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, intense, nerve wracking, frustrating, but. Sometimes you see them bite. swim like full speed towards the bait and just before the bait they turn around. Yeah. You're just waiting for that boom and then it just doesn't happen. <laughs> it's pretty straight. Oh, there's the bed right by the fish. Uh, this is a size bait we're using for the Xander as well. This is a 16 centimeter drunk bait. Uh, like in the UK, we normally fish quite small for Xander, but these ones we're mainly targeting the 70 centimeter plus. So big baits, just one treble hook on there and apparently they engulf it. So we'll see. But yeah, big baits, big Xander hopefully. Generally, Xander like to hit the head yeah. normally when they attack. So, so that's why the, the treble is just quite far forward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No uh, tail nibbling like pike. No, no. And uh, these these are also covered in, this one's garlic scent. We've been using crayfish scent as well. Just trying to see what they prefer, but... Trying a lot of different flavors. Trying a lot of different flavors. And you always scent the baits as well when you're Xander. I, I generally like to scent my baits um, whatever I'm fishing for. All right. I, always, I generally think flavor helps. More flavor, more fish. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh. Big one? That is a big, good one. Busy, busy hunting. Good. Exciting times, exciting times. Yes. I just want to see one fish. Just I want to see one bite and then you know. So, since our last update, things have definitely got a lot colder. <laughs> I've got my beanie on, I've got my jacket on. And honestly, apart from that, we've had a few chocolate chip cookies, which were nice. Yes, definitely. And otherwise, the process is pretty similar as it's been the whole time. Yeah. Except, um, I mean, Dan's not holding the rod anymore. Yeah, I fished for about, around about an hour. I fished, um, what would you say, 15 Xander we saw? We saw about 15 Xander, uh, we saw, we saw them yeah. on the, on the, um, the, we saw them on the um, fish finder. We certainly didn't see them in real life. We've got a few reactions, but yeah, no bites. So, uh, yeah, we're doing a bit of swapping around now. There's actually a Xander. It's a Xander looking the at bait it. right now. He's looking at it. A nice sander. This is moving very hectically. <laughs> well, this is how it's been since it's probably two hours on the water now, and it's just yeah, the sander are not feeding right now. We try, we're trying obviously different baits now. This has actually got a slightly smaller one on, in the hope that maybe they want to go for something smaller. But so far, to be honest, they're <laughs> going okay, for big ones, small just, ones. They just look at the baits, yeah. they swim, they have a look, and then they turn around. Hopefully we run into a bit of a feeding window soon, yeah. where they actually just start eating anything that we put in front of them, which would be nice, but... That would be very nice. Yeah, I'd be quite happy to see ones I'm in the boat today now. It's uh, difficult, so... It's not so easy scoping as it's always made out to look on these, uh, on some of these videos. I mean, obviously sometimes they are a bit more a little bit more in the route to bite. Yeah. But in Berlin, the Xander are very picky. <laughs> they are today, definitely, that's for sure. Found another fish. This is, you know, two minutes since the last yeah. fish. Found another one and... It's following the bait up. Misha lifts the bait. The fish, fish, the fish follows it. He lifts it. Oh, now... Oh, 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 what happens? 
So there, so the fish actually swam at the bait with a lot of speed. Came full speed at the bait and then just turned last second. Like. And then Misha somehow managed to pull the bait away from the fish's mouth. <laughs> So it's very, very frustrating fishing. Like, <laughs> that's true. Really <laughs> Normal fishing circumstances, you don't see all this, so you don't even know the fish are there. But yeah, that's also when, frustrating. You're just catching nothing, basically. Yeah. But then, it is, but then it announced that will be in legendary day, and it is because our guide said he never was in this water without any salmon. <laughs> that's true. Our guide really said that he's never been off a snake without catching a salmon. Um, That's what he's fishing though. But he's never fishing. been on us with a boat fishing for that. No? <laughs> so we're showing him one or two things. <laughs> yes. Oh, on a boat. Hey, what? No. I really got directly. Um, it was a big thunder. No way. Yeah, that was a big thunder. That was like over 80. Hey, for sure. <sighs> yeah. Was it on for a little bit as well? Right? Hmm? Was it oh, on the hook for that, a little bit? Yeah. And he, I saw the, I saw two the times, two times, yeah. two times the bite. Yeah? Two times. Hopefully you can see the hit. It was on like the a middle, middle 80s Zander. It was a big Zander. Yeah. Right at the top. It was like on three meters to I wasn't even. I didn't even see it, it drop right the bait the down. It was right at the top. We yeah, couldn't even see it anymore because it went into yeah, the... Yeah, I was looking at that. I didn't see him drop the bait or anything. It was in like where the where the uh, thing is from the engine. Yeah. It was that's how high, high it was. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I think we're behind it, aren't Yes! Yes! Now you got oh. it. Nice. Finally another bite. Good job. Yep. Finally. Yes! Finally. 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 <laughs> ah, that is out. Wow. Nice, nice, good captaining. Good, good work, good work, good work. That was tough work, really, really. You guys can see it's dark now. It's cold. We finally got the fish. It's not the monster we hoped for, but it's like uh, around 65, 70. So a good, a good solid thunder on the, um, on the um, drunk pelagic shad. Nice. This is just a sample bait, so don't laugh about the color. It's like straight from the factory. It's a sample, sample pelagic shad from us, from us. Um, coming soon. And it did the job. It's the camera. Oh yeah. Nice fish, beautiful Xander. Yeah, it is a nice fish. It took Re a lot of hard work. Really, really tough to catch it. <laughs> that's for sure. Well done. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. You man. Thanks. Okay. It's crazy a fish that size on such a big bait. Like, <sighs> yeah. Oh. yeah. And it was nice. We saw it. We saw it on the live, and then um, moved the bait up a bit. He followed, moved it up a bit. He followed, moved it up a bit, and then he hit it. Like the third or fourth time Perfect. moving it up, then he finally hit it. And uh, it's really, it's. I mean, it seems easy with a live scope, but it's not. We must have seen 40 Xander. Yeah, we must have seen at least 40 fish. 
uh, maybe more and honestly that's yeah that's the that's the second one that bit Misha had one bite which unfortunately the fish came off and that's the second bite that we had and that's it and uh, we're gonna have a few more minutes and then we're gonna actually have to head back we're really really pleased that we managed to at least show you guys one Zander in the video and we're gonna of course give Dan and Misha the chance to maybe get one as well now but that's not gonna be a long chance <laughs> no. Oh, nice. So good to finally see a fish in the boat. I've had the rod most of the time uh, and not caught because I don't really know what I'm doing. Mish had a bite, Daniel's had a bite and landed his fish. So uh, yeah, finally. We got on the water at around 1pm. It's just after 5 now. As you can see, it's dark. So four hours, one zander, one other bite. Crazy fishing, but yeah. 10, 15 more minutes. 80 percent uh, of the time for you and just 10 for Daniel and for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wouldn't say 80 percent, maybe 70 percent. <laughs> I am I am the beginner here. You you voted it before, so. <laughs> oh, shown me off big time, haven't you? <laughs> Alright guys, it is now the next day after the very difficult Zander fishing session. I am at the LMAB headquarters and yeah, we're going to go inside. I'm going to go over the announcement as you guys can see in the title. There's a bit of announcement in this video. It's not a massive thing, but it's something you guys definitely need to be aware of. So yeah, keep tuned. We're going to go inside now. We could talk about the announcement and then hopefully go meet the two owners if they're not too busy. They always seem to be very, very busy right now. <laughs> well, yeah. We're in Berlin, as I think I mentioned. Hedstumbarsch. All right, guys, now I'm in the office at LMAB or Hedstumbarsch headquarters here in Berlin in Germany. Gonna go over the announcement for this video. And there's gonna be there's gonna be a little bit of a change to the YouTube channel. We're going to be changing the channel name from DB Fishing to LMAB UK. Now you guys know I've been working with LMAB for around about 18 months now and mainly use their products. So the idea now is to get some more people in to help me with the YouTube channel. We're gonna be making more videos, there's gonna be more people presenting the videos. It's hopefully going to evolve the channel nicely. Hopefully we'll get some better quality content, more content for you guys, more variety of content, hopefully more fishing trips and stuff like that. So it should be some cool stuff to look forward to in the future. Hopefully, maybe in the next couple of weeks, you will see a video announcing how we're going to be finding the new people for this YouTube channel. So keep your eyes peeled for that video if you are interested in potentially working on the LMAB UK YouTube channel, which is what this channel is going to become. So we are going to go look at a couple of products that are right here next to us. Some of the new rods that will be out in three, four weeks maybe. And then we're going to go talk to the owners, see what they've got to say about the thing. And uh, yeah, cool. Okay, so here are some of the brand new Rodfather rods. These are the high quality rods. Spinning versions, casting versions. This is a heavier, well, medium one, 10 to 35 gram. Super nice finish on these, very light rods. And like I said, the casting versions of these will be out very, very soon. Look at that handle, awesome. The casting versions will be out very soon. The spinning versions, probably a month after those, hopefully anyway. And yeah, exciting stuff. But little sneak peek of the new rods. I'm not sure there's any other new stuff in it that I can actually show you that's not already out. Ooh, actually, extra vibe blades. These for the multi vibe chat baits, which are already out here. You can now buy, or should be able to buy, extra vibe blades. Take off the chat blade, put one of these on. You've now got a spinner bait. So, yeah, a couple of cool new products. There is some more stuff that's come out, but. Um, yeah, it's not actually in this room, so we're going to go see the owners now and uh, yeah, see what they've got to say. 
Okay guys, so here are the two owners. We've got Daniel and Tony here. Hi everybody in the UK, hi fishing enthusiasts. Um, I'm currently sitting here, um, a part of eating sweets. Um, um, I'm currently writing the text for the YouTube Predator Cup Bank 2022, actually for the finals. Uh, I'm the one who um, is producing the show basically um, together with my camera team and um, I hope we, that we can do something similar soon in the UK um, it's not very easy it's a very big project but um, it's definitely doable as, as we can see I hope you guys watch uh, it on our German channel from time to time uh, we have English subtitles and I can tell you now that the finals are going to be super, super, super close and super exciting. Little spoiler. <laughs> yeah, but uh, of course we will, we will try to do something similar, some, some tournament format in the UK. And yeah, maybe Daniel has, has some ideas for other formats, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, um, hopefully some of you have seen me in uh, Dan's previous video from uh, from Germany and um, we definitely looking forward to doing a lot of cool things on the channel um, as Dan explained to you guys it's gonna be renamed because we're planning on having a lot more content you're not gonna see less of Dan you're just gonna see more of um, other people and you're gonna be having more content as Tony said as well we are planning a really big um, uh, exciting format which is going to be running on the channel from hopefully at some stage next year in the UK I don't want to spoil it too much I don't want to say too much in advance but we got big plans for um, for a cool format coming to you guys soon have fun with the channel keep keep watching keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe the channel and uh, look forward to seeing you guys in a couple more videos in the future ciao guys